Hi, it's James from Radio.co. Today we're here at Media City UK, which is the heart of the UK broadcasting industry with big players like the BBC, ITV, and numerous independent production companies based here. Salford University is a great choice of university if you want to learn about radio or broadcasting. So we're here to meet a lecturer who's been using the Radio.co platform in a really interesting way. He's actually been using it to teach and educate his students on how to set up a radio station really quickly and easily using our platform. My name's Jimmy Ewing. I'm a university lecturer at the University of Salford. I use Radio.co on a module called Radio Entrepreneurs, uh, which is a new module at the university where we allow the students to create a radio station, um, any kind of radio station that they like, um, and they also have to write a business plan, um, create a website, and then of course um, use the Radio.co service to stream um, their content. I'm Laura, I'm a third year TV and radio student at the University of Salford. If I was starting out without this platform, I don't really know where I would start off. So Radio.co makes it really, really simple to actually start out because the procedure of it is just so straightforward. Um, the Radio.co service really just makes it incredibly easy um, for our students to be able to start a radio station. It's as simple as that. Hi, I'm Liam Kennedy and I'm the station manager for Utter Radio. Radio.co has played a fundamental tool in allowing us to broadcast. Um, we've used Radio.co since our launch and in terms of what it can do for us, it means that I don't have to be in the university at the time of if I need to do any jobs for Radio.co. I could be at my I could be on my laptop at home, I could be on the train connected to my phone, um, I could be in a different country, uh, which I have done when I was in Ireland, I was using Radio.co to broadcast stuff over here, which is mental to be quite honest. Um, so, you know, we teach them for three years um, how to make content for radio. Um, we don't really have the expertise to teach them how to use HTML coding or, um, you know, the various different software software platforms that you might need to use to create an online radio station. Um, so Radio.co really just takes off that pressure from us um, so they can focus on their business um, and the content that they want to produce. I'm Rob, I'm a third year TV and radio student at uh, the University of Salford. When creating my station, the biggest problem I found was maybe like where I was actually going to put it. When you're starting out it's kind of hard to find somewhere that's going to distribute it, so with Radio.co it's easier just to have your own site where you can go straight onto there and also you can make radio on the move, so I've got it on my laptop now, I can just use that. One of my biggest concerns with my station was um, what do I do when I graduate because I will lose this amazing facility that we have at, at Media City, um, but obviously with Radio.co um, you have the opportunity to then have that on, I've got it on my laptop now, um, so I have no worries about when I graduate I can just broadcast from wherever I am. Uh, the coolest thing is that I've got a player on my website now, and that was very easy to set up. The best thing about Radio.co is definitely the simplicity of the whole thing. The radio industry is uh, changing quite dramatically. Um, I think in the next five years, um, well, in fact, it's been said that in the next five years that all new cars will be fitted with internet radios. Um, so, you know, in terms of the radio industry for my students, um, I think that the radio industry um, will be full of internet radio stations and I think people will take internet radio much more seriously. My ambitions in the radio industry keep changing to be honest. Obviously the BBC is probably the place where most people aim to get to, but with the opportunities in online radio, that's kind of too exciting to ignore. Yeah, radio is changing. We know that and it has been for the last couple of years. Where it goes in the next couple of years, I'm, I won't be able to answer that. But in terms of what Radio.co is doing, it allows anybody to create a radio station. So technology is changing, the audience is changing, the listeners are changing, the way they do listen is changing. You know, it'll be, become less relevant for students to think that the only way they can make a career out of radio is going for one of the big names. Um, what I want to do is encourage students to be more entrepreneurial and start their own business and create jobs themselves for other people.